Hello, this is the second of three videos related to the relationship between the evangelical churches and emergent churches. I'm Dr. Rick Durst and I teach Christian theology at Golden Gate Baptist Seminary. What is an evangelical church? If we follow, follow the, um, the structure of David Bebbington, he says that evangelical churches which emerge with the Protestant Reformation typically are Bible-centered, Christ-centered, cross-centered, and conversionist. Uh, meaning that uh, scripture is the norm for faith and practice. Um, that everything is organized around knowing and walking with Christ, uh, coming to faith in Christ, having a conversion experience, being born again. Uh, being cross-centered in the sense of uh, preaching and living the atonement. Now, many evangelical churches take um, a rather focused view of being cross-centered in terms of the penal substitutionary view of the atonement, that Christ's death on the cross satisfies God's wrath, and it's an objective view of the atonement. Now, in critique or in distance from that, the emergent church wants to take a fresh reading of Scripture. Uh, the understanding of Brian McLaren and others in the uh, revisionist uh, take uh, is that we're not reading Scripture anymore. We're reading what people have told us we see in Scripture. And so a fresh, clear reading of the Scripture is what they call for. Um, in the evangelical side, there is a an emphasis on the doctrine of justification by faith uh, that, according to the emergence, omits sanctification. So there's an emphasis on this side in the evangelical world, according to the emergent critique, on Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, for by grace are you saved through faith. But what about verse 10? Saved unto good works that God has prepared beforehand. And so there's a, an increasing focus on the emergent side, not so much as getting you saved from hell, but getting the hell out of you so that you live for Jesus now uh, in the world. So this is part of the difference between uh, these two in terms of emphasis of doctrine. I hope that's clear. Now, in the final video, we'll look at the emerging church highway. There are really four lanes that different versions of the emerging church run down. Thanks for watching.